Wow, it's almost May. The snow in the city has been gone for weeks. But I'm always amazed when I get out here into the wilderness to see just how much of it is left. Winter hasn't quite released its grip on this area just yet. Wow. So, welcome back to the Econo Challenge. I'm out exploring some crown land today. I don't have anything really specific I want to film. I just want to explore some new area I've never explored before. I'm on a, what looks like an old ATV trail here, but it doesn't look like it's been used in a while. And I'm just gonna see what I find. So you're welcome to come along and join me on my little adventure today. will drag out here to sit on during hunting season. Darn, I have come across yet another hunting camp. Although this one seems to be in a bit better shape than the last one. Quite possibly have a bit more money. Well, it turns out somebody was home after all. Oh, Mr. Red Squirrel. I suppose it could be a missus too. It's a really beautiful area they have here, but I think I'm going to try and explore a different trail. I'm just sitting here having a little bit of homemade beef jerky and old cheddar cheese for a snack. I hiked in here as far as that plastic bottle. I don't know if you can see it in the background there. Stuck on a tree. I don't know why people do that. It's pretty cool. The acorns are starting to sprout. Look at that. Sorry, dude. I'll put you back. Carry on. In case you are wondering where white buckets come from, this is where we grow them, out here in the middle of nowhere. And of course, if you believe that, I've got some swamp land just over here I'd like to sell you. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, somebody's tried to camouflage this so that you can't see it. Obviously, I can see it. Fairly decent vantage point down in this valley. I 
Now I'm sure they're looking for deer, elk, or moose, but I was searching the trees for chaga. <laughs> and there it is, a nice little chunk of chaga right there on this paper birch this time. Ooh, look at that one. Wow, look at how far that is sticking out. And I can reach that. That's nice. But you know what? I've got all I can use for now, so I think we'll just save that one for later. Let it keep growing. Hopefully I'll be able to remember where this is. <laughs> this trip is proving to be a great example of why I really hoped the amazing wilderness camp chair would catch on with hunters. Beautiful little spot overlooking this swamp. I'm pretty sure he didn't carry it all the way up here. But I certainly think a camp chair would be a lot easier. Whoever it was liked XL gum anyway. Okay, well it's getting late. It's time to uh, navigate home. So, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. I might bring you back if something exciting happens, but otherwise, this is it. Thanks for spending the day with me. Bye for now. This is a charred cedar stump and the forest fire that charred this was from the 1930s. Now if you take a look at the forest behind me, it recovered pretty well from that forest fire. Anything exciting happened while I was gone?